All right, let's go to the phones. And uh, Mark, Mark, you've got a question for Mary John Southers. Question or comment? Welcome aboard. Oh, is that me, Richard? It is. Go ahead, Mark. I just, so my question is, my street that I live on, I live in the outskirts on the eastern side of the spring, south of the airport. I have potholes daily, and I'm just curious if they're ever going to get out here and do it, or are they going to just focus on doing those stupid bike lanes that no one uses? Well, first of all, bike lanes are not uh, paid for by 2C. You've been listening to blackforesttaxpayers.com too much. Uh, but the fact of the matter is uh, you can go to the city website and see if you're on the 2C renewal list because it's got a list of literally hundreds and hundreds of uh, uh, residential roads. And if you're not, I would encourage you to call City Streets and have them come out and look at it and see if you shouldn't be on that list because uh, you could be uh, added to the list. But look at the uh, 2C renewal list and see if you're on it. There's hundreds and hundreds of streets on it. Oh, yeah. How does that work, though? Because if, if I call the cops, the sheriff show up because I'm technically in the county, but I oh. pay Colorado, Colorado Springs tax on everything. Uh, no, you don't play. Uh, you pay Colorado Springs sales tax if you're buying things within the city of Colorado Springs. You're not paying uh, Colorado Springs property tax. You're paying El Paso County uh, property tax. And uh, So we, technically he wouldn't be even taxed no. under 2C. Uh, no, you, you're not paying the tax on 2C, and uh, we won't. the city won't be fixing your road. You need to call the county. Uh, the county says they're paying the balls. <laughs> Okay, um, so this comes in by text. It says, what the hell is the fascination with bike lanes, which no one uses? This enrages me. Is Gabler behind this? Bike lanes, and I hear this all the time, and, and uh, everybody has a story about seeing empty bike lanes. Uh, we've talked about how it's appealing to have miles of bike lanes. I, I can say from talking with a, a number of people who ride bikes that a lot of them say they'd rather be on a trail or on a side street where they don't have to be sucking fumes from cars or, or worrying about cars, but uh, I'll go back to the question. What the hell is the fascination with bike lanes? Is uh, Gabler behind this? Uh, Gabler, not any more than a lot of other people that are behind it. There's a lot. Uh, this is largely a generational issue, Richard, I found. Uh, people over 50 hate bike lanes. Uh, people under 40 love bike lanes, and everybody between 40 and 50 are ambivalent. Uh, but the fact of the matter is uh, we do have quite a few people who bicycle, uh, and we do have a lot of young people in particular who want uh, – they prefer to be on, on trails, but a lot of them uh, – we now have people – uh, riding their bikes to work downtown, things like that, and the cities being uh, somewhat responsive. Uh, we don't have the uh, bike lane network that a lot of cities do, but we have uh, some bike lanes. And the fact of the matter is uh, uh, we want to uh, accommodate uh, lots of different people uh, in our community. Uh, I remember when I got in trouble or because Jill Gabler said I said I don't like old people. Uh, and what, what I had said is that uh, we've got to attract 4,000 millennials to Cower Springs every year to fill uh, uh, jobs in, uh, uh, in software development and cybersecurity and things like that. And we're competing with uh, Austin, San Francisco, and others. And one of the things those folks are looking for uh, is hiking, biking, all that sort of thing, and in some cases, bike lanes. Uh, it, it's it's kind of interesting because uh, uh, I, I pay attention to who I hear from, and it really is largely a generational uh, uh, issue. But uh, bike lanes will be around for a while. So. All right. This comes in by text uh, from uh, Mark here in Colorado Springs. He says, Richard, a couple of questions for the mayor. We'll try to get to all of them, but at least one of them here says, uh, how does he plan to reconcile road dieting and bike lanes with an efficient network that attracts business? Uh, that's the job of city planners. Uh, the, the mayor does not sit in his office and say, oh, let's put a bike lane here. Oh, let's uh, diet this. Uh, uh, we have uh, uh, traffic engineers and uh, city planners who went to school and studied this stuff, uh, and they make uh, decisions. Uh, and I have to rely on them as opposed to the 480,000 would-be traffic engineers that uh, contact my office and call Richard Randall. 
Um, some things are counterintuitive. So uh, talk to us, explain to us a little bit about uh, road dieting, because I think many of us are saying, well, well you built this road, you built it for two lanes. Uh, now, all of a sudden, in order to, uh, quote unquote, diet or, or restrict the speeds, you're going to put a bike lane in what used to be a road lane. And uh, that seems counterintuitive. But I also go back to one of my favorite intersections, Fillmore and I-25. When I saw how that thing was designed, I thought to myself, who in God's name was using recreational pot when they came up with this? They designed it on a, a napkin while they were drunk at a bar, and yet it works very, very well. It it's not, it's very, not well. very intuitive. Yeah, uh, it does work very well. Uh, it's, it's interesting because I remember when uh, they uh, uh, put bike lanes on Cascade, uh, gosh, the neighborhood sued me and uh, lots of uh, outrage and all that kind of stuff. Uh, I haven't had anything but positive input on Cascade in the last uh, six months. I'm sure there's a few uh, disgruntled folks about it. Uh, but once people understand that it's actually going to be quieter in their neighborhood and there may be a reason why we're trying to uh, keep more traffic out of that neighborhood, uh, they tend to uh, uh, to feel better about it. So I'd never thought of that. So one of the reasons you might have a bike lane and cut into a traffic lane and diet would be so that you have less uh, traffic going through a residential uh, part of the town. I hadn't thought about that. We'll pick it up or there. Or slow traffic down. Slow yeah. traffic down. Yeah. Uh,